Hi, welcome to ADI Technical Training, I'm Matthew. In this video, we're looking at how you'd add a mag lock to the Paxton Switch 2 controller. The controller comes in two formats, with or without a power supply. I'm using without, and I'm going to use our own power supply, just so I can have battery backup. So the power supply I'm using will be a 1 amp, it's an ADI Pro, an Ultratech power supply. Along with that, I'm using the ADI Pro um, green door and exit button, the um, mag lock I'll be using is the ADI Pro um, Slimline Mag, 280 kg, and finally a green brake glass unit double pole uh, to control the to control the magnet for emergency escape. Okay, so let's first of all have a quick look at the um, PCB itself, the, the Paxton um, PCB. The reader is pre-wired, comes with a 3 meter flying lead. And you connect colour for colour the terminal blocks and the switch to controller are colour coded to the kit. At the top right, you can see positive and negative. That's the incoming positive and negative from the power supply. And it's also used to feed the magnet. So I'll, I'll save on putting too many cables in there, I'll keep it as simple as possible. But your 12 volts or your 13.8 volts from your power supply will go to those two terminals, red and black, red positive black negative. So let's add the devices in question. So first of all we'll add the magnet and the brake glass unit. Now I'm using double pole and that's um, to be compliant with most fire eggs actually so you've got to cut both sides of the power both the negative and the positive. That way you, you ensure that when you press that green exit but that green escape button you definitely cut in both poles of the power uh, to the magnet. In some cases, some people could come along and add a third party access control later on, and they might be switching positive, uh, sorry, negative, and we're switching positive. That way, you can guarantee that you're definitely going to cut both sides of the power. So, with the items in place, let's look at the wiring. A maglock is fail safe, that means if the power fails, the um, device will unlock. So the, the gist of that is we need to give constant power to the magnet and we're going to use the relay to do that. If you're not familiar with the term fail safe or fail secure or how a relay works, in the description box I'll put two links in there so you can have a quick look at um, the difference between fail safe and fail secure and how a relay works. So with that in mind we need to give constant power to the magnet. The first thing we need to do is give a link and we're going to switch positive. So we need to give a link between the positive of the incoming power and common on the relay. So let's put that link in place. You can see it's just a, just a wire between the two terminals. Then we'll come out to normally closed via the green escape button, the emergency escape button, to positive of the magnet. So now we've fed positive through, um, through to the magnet with the normally closed relay via the green escape button. I'll show you a bit, a bit more detail of the escape button in a moment. Next we need to take the negative from the power supply again via the green escape button to negative of the mag lock. If you have a look on the mag lock they'll be positive and negative, they're the ones we're using. Some, some magnets include um, contacts, normally open, normally close and common, we're not using them. And that's the, um, the wiring in place. Um, using positive and negative as, uh, from the incoming power with negative now running through. So as promised let's take a closer look at the terminals that you would use in the green brake glass and magnet. The green brake glass will have common and normally closed and you'll use both terminals separately. So positive will go through normally uh, common and normally closed on and switch one and negative again common normally closed on switch two. They will then go straight through to the magnet, positive and negative terminals, uh, to power the magnet up. As I say, some magnets have a door status or door monitoring, which is common, normally open, normally closed. We don't use them um, at this time. We will, probably wouldn't use them on the Switch 2 system, actually. Use it for different types of systems. So there we are. That's the, the magnet connected with the green brake glass. Next would be the um, request to exit. Now on the bottom left there you can see you've got ground and exit. Simply two wires from the um, exit button, common and normally open, has to be an open circuit, going to that controller and you will short the wires together. 
or when you press the button, short the circuit, and that will tell the switch two to unlock the door. And there you are. That's the wiring and configuration you need for a switch two controller with a maglock. Thanks very much for watching. All the products mentioned in this training video can be found on our website. Links are below. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks very much.